Question 1b, we're going to factor by grouping. And to factor by grouping, you factor these two terms first, and then you factor these two terms over here. Okay. So if I was to factor 5x cubed plus 4x squared, I'm just going to make this as simple as possible. That's 5x cubed is 3x's, and then I have plus 4, and then x squared is 2x's. So I can clearly see from each of these, I can pull out 2x's, right? And that's all. So I can pull out an x squared or 2x's, right? And you'll be left with your 5x plus 4, right? So clearly on the first one, you can pull out x squared. And x squared times 5x will give the 5x cubed. x squared times what gives the 4? See, x squared times 4 just gives the 4x squared, right? Now, if you notice that this there are one, two, three signs, this middle sign is a subtract, okay? The trick with these is always keep the middle sign the same. So just write a subtract there. What you're going to try and do here is pull out a negative, right? That's the trick. If you keep the middle sign the same, it'll all work out. If you pull out a negative something, then this thing's going to work out. Now, what goes into 10 and 8? 2, right? But instead of pulling out a positive 2, I'm actually going to pull out a negative 2 because this middle sign is negative, right? Negative 2 times what gives 10x? Negative 2 times 5x. Negative 2 times what gives negative 8? Negative 2 times what gives negative 8? Wouldn't that be positive 4, right? And can you see here that we have 5x plus 4 twice? See it? Now we can pull this is its own factor, okay? So I just want to make this clear that I have x squared times something minus 2 times something. No matter what that is, I can pull it out. Like if that was just say, you know, the number the number 3, you know? I could pull that number 3 out. See that? Okay, and then I'd be left with x squared, you know, minus 2. See, I've just, but I'm pulling this thing out, and it, it goes here, and then I've got times x squared minus 2. It's exactly what I'm going to do here. I'm going to actually pull out the entire 5x minus 4, right? Or 5x plus 4. And that'll be 5x plus 4 times, and then you're left with your x squared, right, minus 2. So I'm pulling out this 5x plus 4 here, and then that times this, and that's a common factor of the x squared and the minus 2. So now I'm just going to write it in. See that? So I've pulled the 5x plus 4 out, and it's a common factor of x squared and negative 2. Right? Now before I go any further, you might have had a difficulty with here, with this part. Okay? Um, so you might have pulled out a positive 2 from the negative 10x minus 8. If you did that, you would get negative two or positive two times negative five x minus four, which is not the same thing as five x plus four. So if you pull out a particular sign it doesn't work, try the opposite sign, try a negative. So if you pull out a positive something and it doesn't work out over here, then try pulling out a negative and it will work out. One of them's gonna I it the thing you pull out at this and this part either has to be positive or negative. And if one doesn't work, just try the other one. See how the negative two worked. So that's the trick, really. Okay, so now we're going to check this just to make sure we got it right. So we're going to go 5x. So, um, well, I'll just write it out again. So, so I'm going to check my 5x plus 4 times x squared minus 2, right? So 5x times x squared and then 5x times negative 2. 5x times x squared is 5x cubed and that's up here, see that? 5x times negative 2 is minus 10x and that occurs here, the minus 10x. 4 times x squared is uh, plus 4x squared and that occurs here and 4 times negative 2 is minus 8 and that occurs here. So we have the same thing, that negative 10x and the 4x squared are rearranged, but it is the exact same thing anyway. I mean, you can just rearrange those if you want, you know?